classes we have already discussed about the concept of electric charges and fields uh, those are the force of attraction between the two point charges and the electric field produced by the point charge now in this class we will discuss some problems based on those concepts the first one is the four point charges q a equal to 2 micro coulomb q b equal to minus 5 micro coulomb and q c equal to 2 micro coulomb and finally q d equal to minus 5 micro coulomb are located at the corners of the square a b c d of side length 10 cm okay now this is a given and now what what is the force on a charge on one micro coulomb placed at the center of the square now here we should understand first what the given and what we have to find now see here first we should understand diagrammatically now this is a square the four charges placed at the corners of the square that is a b c d these are the four vertices of the square now q a equal to 2 micro coulomb q b Minus five micro coulomb. Q C two micro coulomb, and finally Q D equal to minus five micro coulomb. And now, what is the force on a charge? What is the force on a charge of one micro coulomb placed at the center of the square? Now, at the center of the square. What is the force at this point? The charge is one micro coulomb we are placing. On this charge, what is the force produced by these four charges? Okay. Now, what is given here in this problem? What is given? Write down first. Q A. Equal to two micro coulomb, two into ten to the power of minus six coulomb, and Q B, Q B equal to minus my five micro coulomb. That is minus five into ten to the power of minus six coulomb. Similarly, Q C, and finally. Q D equal to minus five micro coulomb, minus five into ten to the power of minus six coulomb. Okay, now to find the force on this charge, we should know the distance between this point and center point. That is A O, O B, O C, and O D. Now to find To find A O comma O B comma O C comma O D, I am considering triangle triangle A C D. A triangle A B C. In this triangle, angle B is equal to 90 degree. According to the Pythagoras theorem, I am Means I can write AC is equal to under root 10 square plus 10 square because the side length is 10 centimeter. They only given here 10 centimeter. Okay, now it is under root 200. This under root 200 can be written as 10 under root 2. That is in centimeter. Okay, but we want the distance ao the distance ao ob oc and od therefore ao equal to ac by 2 that is 
10 under root 2 divided by 2. This is 5 under root 2 centimeter. Now convert into meter. 5 under root 2 into 10 to the power of minus 2 meter. And also one direct way is there to find the AO that is that is A into under root R A into under root 2 by 2. Here A is the side length of the square. You can apply this one also. Okay, now here AO is equal to 5 under root 20 to the power of minus 2 meter. Now we have to calculate the individual forces on this one micro column. That individual forces are nothing but FA, FB, FC and FD. Now here the force due to QA charge on this one it is also plus it is also plus means there is a repulsion there is a force of repulsion that is along AO this is what F this is F A F A and next similarly due to this one plus minus means there is an attraction that is along OB it is F B similarly here plus plus repulsion that is along C O F C similarly here plus sorry minus plus it is a attraction this is F D ok now we have calculate individually and finally we can find the net force ok now due to due to QAHS due to QAHS the force are force due to QA charge on one micro column that is placed at the center of the square that is F A equal to there is a formula according to the Coulomb's law F A equal to 1 divided by 4 by epsilon naught charges Q A into the center charge that is 1 micro column that is 1 into 10 to the power of minus 6 divided by the distance the distance is AO AO square because there is a formula R square where R is the distance between the two charges here the distance is AO now substitute the values 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught that value is 9 into 10 to the power of 9 into QA what is QA? 2 micro column 2 into 10 to the power of minus 6 into 10 to the power of minus 6 whole divided by AO what is AO? already we got AO is equal to 5 under root 2 5 under root 2 into 10 to the power of minus 2 whole square here the by simplifying by simplifying this term we will get 0.36 into 10 to the power of minus 3 plus 4 here 9 minus 12 that is minus 3 this becomes minus 4 just take it on a numerator that becomes plus 4 therefore f a equal to 3.6 newton the direction along 3.6 newton this is along f a is along what a o there is a repulsion along a o i here we can observe here is q c equal to 2 micro column this charge is same it means the magnitude of the two charges is same the distance is same but only the thing is the direction is opposite therefore here fc equal to fc equal to minus i sorry fc equal to 3.6 newton but the direction is 
along along C O. Here we can answer, and we, here we can conclude that F A equal to minus of F C. Okay, F A equal to minus of F C. And similarly, due to the charge Q V, next find the force. Due to charge Q B on one microcoulomb, that is F B equal to F B equal to there is a formula one divided by four by epsilon naught into Q B into one into ten to the power minus six divided by here distance. OB here OB is also equals to OA because according to the proper property of square the diagonals are bisect each other means AO equal to OC similarly OB equal to OD here the diagonals are bisect each other that's why I am writing AO equal to OB square because the diagonals are bisect each other. The value of one factor of epsilon naught is nine into ten to the power of nine into Q B. The value of Q B is minus five into ten to the power of minus six into ten to the power of minus six whole divided by O B. O B is equal to five under root two ten to the power of minus two whole square. Here, by simplifying this term, we will get T F B equal to 0.9 into 10 to the power of same minus 3 plus 4. Therefore, F B equal to 9 newton. But the direction is, but the direction is F B. F B that is along O B. Similar. Similar. The force due to The charge Q D force due to charge Q D force due to charge Q D on one microcoulomb is F D equal to here F D is also equal to F B, but the direction is opposite in nature. That's why I am writing minus of F B. Okay, this is equal to we know we know already F B is equal to nine newton. That is minus nine newton. This is a magnitude. Okay, therefore, <coughs> therefore the net. The net force on one microcoulomb is F equal to F equal to F one plus F two plus F three plus F four. The magnitudes F one. What is the value of F one? Or you can say here F F A F B F C F D. I don't know. We have taken F A, F B, F C, and F D. F A equal to F A equal to three point six plus F B nine newton. F C here F C is equal to three point six newton along C O. This is opposite to or opposite in direction of F A. That's why. If A is already 3.6, but if C is minus of F A, that's why I am writing minus of 3.6. Similarly, F D is also minus of F B. That's why F D equals to minus of 9 newton. Therefore, F equal to the net force act on one microcoulomb. F E is equal to zero. Nine and get cancelled.
Similarly, 3.6 minus 3.6 is equals to 0. Here, the net force act on a charge placed at the center due to these all four charges is equals to 0. Here we can observe carefully. One thing we can conclude that here in a square, the opposite in opposite vertices in the charges are same. Here, 2 micro column, 2 micro column, minus 5 micro column, minus 5 micro column. In this situation, the net force act at the center of the square is always zero. This is only when in this situation means at opposite corner the charge should be same. Okay. A next problem. The next one is three point charges of plus micro column, twenty micro column and 25 micro coulomb are placed at the corners of the square that is A, B, C in the square A, B, C, D having side 0.2 meter calculate the magnitude of electric field at the intersection of diagonals ok now what they given here now let us see Three point charges are located at the corners of the square. It's a square. A, B, C, D. Now at the point A, the first charge, that is Q1, is equals to 5 micro column here q2 is equals to 20 micro column and at the point c that is q3 equal to 25 micro column at place at abc now this square has a side length 0.2 meter Now we have to calculate the magnitude of electric field at the intersection of the diagonal. Intersection of the diagonal means at the center of the square. Because in square, the two diagonals are perpendicularly bisect each other. Therefore, at the midpoint of the square, we have to calculate the electric field. Therefore, now we have to calculate individually the electric field due to charges individually. Now it's a point. To find this electric field, we should know the distance between a point O and individual charges. Therefore, to find these distances, I am taking this triangle. Okay, first we have to write given values. given here q1 q1 equal to 5 micro column that is 5 into 10 to the power of minus 6 column and q2 20 micro column that is 20 into 10 to the power of minus 6 column and q3 that is 25 micro column 25 into 10 to the power of minus 6 column. Okay. Now, due to these charges, we have to calculate electric field at the point O. Therefore, we want the distances AO, OB and OC. To find these distances, now I am taking the triangle ADC. In this triangle, angle D is equal to 90 degree. Just apply Pythagoras theorem. Therefore, I am writing directly. Yes, sir. In triangle ABC, first calculate AC. Then half of this AC is equal to AO or OC. Now, AC square is equal to AD square plus now AD AD is equal to 0.2 square 
is also 0.2 square. Now AC is equals to under root 2 times of 0.2 square. This is equals to 0.2 under root 2. AC is equals to 0.2 under root 2 meter. But we want distance AO, OC, OB. Therefore, AO equal to OC equal to OB equal to R OD equal to AC by 2. That's AC by 2. This is equal to 0 0.2 under root 2 divided by 2. 0.2 under root 2 whole divided by 2. This is equals to 0 0.1 under root 2. This equals to 0 0.1414. Okay, better. This is what? AO equal to OC equals to OB equal to OD is equals to 0 0.1414. Better. Now we have to calculate electric field due to individual charges. Therefore, Electric field Electric field due to due to charge Q1 at point O that is E1 I am taking as E1 E1 is equal to we know formula according to the Coulomb's law 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught into charge Q1 divided by distance AO that is AO square now substitute the values Q1 and AO 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught value is 9 into 10 to the power of 9 Q1 is equal to 5 micro coulomb that is 5 into 10 to the power of minus 6 coulomb whole divided by AO what is AO? AO is equal to 0 0.1414 0 0.1414 whole square now E1 is equal to by simplifying this one E1 equal to we will get 2.25 into 10 to the power of 6 newton per coulomb now this is what electric field due to charge q1 at the point o and what is the direction of e1 now see here i am considering at point o a unit positive charge okay now what is the direction of electric field due to this one now it is also positive now the direction of electric field due to Q1 is directed away means that is along OC this is what E1 next similar the electric field due to Q2 charge and electric field due to Q2 at O that is E2 equal to 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught into Q2 divided by distance OB is OB square now substitute the value of this one is 9 into 10 to the power of 9 into Q2 that is 20 20 into 10 to the power of minus 6 coulomb whole divided by OB we know the distance OB equals to say 0 0.1414 square this gives value 
e to equal to <coughs> by simplifying this one we will get e to equal to 9 into 10 to the power of 6 newton per coulomb now it is what electric field due to the charge q2 at point o and now similarly we have to calculate electric field due to q3 charge now see here electric field now here first write the direction of the e2 positive it's a positive charge means here also the direction is outward means along od that is what along <coughs>
in this direction means along OA. Another one is along OD. Now we have to calculate the resultant of E31 and E2. That is the net electric field at O. Now the net electric field. Therefore, the net electric field at O is that is nothing but the resultant of the resultant of E31 and E2. Okay. And one more thing. The angle between this E31 and E2 is 90 degree because we know in the square these two diagonals are bisect perpendicularly. Therefore, the resultant R is equal to we know the formula R is equal to the resultant force acting or concurrent force acting at a point R is equal to E31 whole square plus E2 whole square plus 2 E31 and E2 sorry E2 cos theta. Now what is theta? Theta is 90 degree. Now substitute here theta is equal to 90 degree. Now theta equals to 90 degree cos 90 0. Therefore R equal to R equal to E31 plus E2 square. Now substitute the values E31 and E2. What is E31? E31 is equal to 9 into 10 to the power of 6 newton per coulomb and E2 is also equal to 9 into 10 to the power of 6 newton per coulomb. I can write here 2 times of E2 or 2 times of E31. That is 2, 2 times of E2 <coughs> square. That is 2 into E2 square. What is E2? 9 into 10 to the power of 6 square. Now by simplifying this one, we will get R equal to 12 point 12 point 7 to 7 into 10 to the power of 6 newton per coulomb. This is what the resultant of electric field due to these three charges at point O. Then what is the direction of this resultant vector? Now see, here the resultant is Resultant is this is E resultant. Now this is parallel to C D. And this parallel to side C D are parallel to along 